Hello there everybody. So today we are looking at some of my beach finds from yesterday. And in here we've got some different types of fossils. You can see this uh, piece of chain coral here, which we're going to be putting in some muriatic acid in a little while. Also you can see some, some horn coral, there's a fossilized sponge. Another piece of coral over here. Alright, real quick, if we can see the difference between them. Um, this one here, you would not want to throw in a tumbler. This one would be a very bad idea to put a tumbler. Same with this one. If you can tell they're really dry. Um, there's calcified and then they're silicified. We can see the difference here pretty pretty well. This one here is uh, real dry, a lot more white. It's got like this limestone on there. Um, this you would not want to put in muriatic acid, and you would not want to put that in a rock tumbler either. Whereas this one here has a more yellow, golden look to it. So silicified, silica silicified. And these ones do go in the tumbler and turn out quite nicely. That one there, probably go in the tumbler, would turn out pretty nicely also. So yeah, this one here, we are going to be taking, and we are going to put it into this little bucket here. First I'm going to add the acid to the bucket, just a little bit, and then I'm going to place this in here overnight, and we'll see what we're left with in the morning. Pretty windy day out here today. Uh, better sunlight here all of a sudden yeah, pinks and grays in that one really pretty
tumble up often. about throwing this one in the tumbler. Alright, you can see it's in there and the acid is reacting with it. I have this one here also. Um, I'm going to put in... This one I believe is just, you know, silicified, so this one should be fine. Alright, we'll see how they look tomorrow. Hello everybody. So it's been 24 hours and we pulled the fossil out of the muriatic acid and this is what we're left with um, I have a few pieces <laughs> uh, there's one rock but uh, must have been uh, held together kind of loosely or something in the back here by a uh, by a small section but anyways that that had gotten dissolved away obviously and we're left with this nice piece here <laughs> I gotta lay my hand flat so there's no shaking sorry about that Turned out pretty nice though. It's kind of cool. I have a few smaller pieces now. These are some of the other ones that um, I've done that, that turned out okay in the past. Actually, I mean, they all turn out okay. It's just a uh, question like this one here. I had to stop a lot. Um, I didn't go all 24 hours because this uh, there's a little piece in there that's holding these two pieces together so it still turned out really nice and I got uh, this one here I mean, they look kind of fragile but um, they're not that bad really and this is the other piece that I had tossed in there I must have had some calcium in there gotten eaten away kind of see it there a little bit the light passing through but uh, still got very good definition there are a couple other pieces that um, I had put in there and uh, the acid had ate away at a lot of the material and um, I thought the part that was left over was nice enough that I wanted to try to salvage so I tried something different and I just um, brushed on some Mod Podge to let it seep into all the nooks and crannies there and uh, it's 
kind of cool. It's just something else you can try. Uh, I've experimented on uh, all kinds of different things with with fossils. You know, trying to clean them up and and I'm just trying to open them up and get some detail and stuff like that. And a little piece of horn coral here that I same thing. I brushed some. Mod Podge on to uh, try to salvage. And it's nice and nice and firm. It's not very fragile. These pieces I just got in the mail the other day. These are from Nick and Lily over at City Rock Hounding. And uh, got some really cool fossils that they hand polished. This is also another alternative you can you can do with your with your fossils. Really like this one. This is this is fabulous. Who knew cutting open a chunk like that and polishing that could be that? Fantastic job, guys. A little horn coral there. This one's a pretty good job. Where round it out. I imagine that'd be kind of hard to do, but cool job on that. Um, this, these are a lighter um, acid wash. I didn't go full strength for these because um, otherwise it would just completely dissolve away and ruin these fossils. I wanted to just try to uh, gently lift and expose some of this stuff without dissolving too much material. So I used a uh, I don't know, maybe 20, 30% acid, the rest water, so just a, just a little bit of acid, and then you, I didn't want to keep them in there too long. I just keep an eye on them, and uh, was able to uh, expose a little bit of material here. Just give it a little bit more definition. Alright, that's all I got for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, take care and rock on.